Welcome. This is for Project 314, Find the Secrets. You're going to be applying everything you learned in Unit 3.1. So it was basically a learning how Linux works, and navigating around the Linux operating system. As a quick little review right here before the project, in 3.1.1, basic commands right here. Uh, it's And I can... I've recorded list. Hopefully you have this in a notebook as well. You learn how to use LS to list the contents of a directory, how to use CD to change directory. We could print the working directory, how to make new directories and move files, which was copy could also copy files if you wanted to. We also learned how to remove files and remove directories. And then we so that was in 3.1.1. The next one we learned is access control, how to see um uh, who would have access to re read, write, and execute files, whether the owner, the group, or the the whole world, or anyone. So there was a little bit of access control. And what else did they have in there? There was file types and uh, different flags. Oh, also looking to see how to find hidden files. That might be useful. That was 3.1.2. In 3.1.3, this is going to be the big one. We're analyzing processes in this case. Processes, so that the idea was to find out what is, what are what's being run on the system, like who owns the processes being run, and if because if we don't recognize the owner, then they're probably a malicious user, and we want to stop what they're running, and delete them, from our servers. So we're going to be applying these skills. I'm not going to go over answers, just kind of set you up right here. First thing, if I'm doing this, I'm looking at this rubric. Go ahead and pull this up, depending on. But that might help you out here, but here I'm gonna walk you through what I'm expecting here. Um, your big stuff is going through these steps. Think of these as steps. You wanna identify unauthorized users. We're gonna find any processes being run by those unauthorized users, because those are bad. We wanna stop those processes. We wanna find the files that started those processes and remove them. And then we wanna remove all files and direct directories associated with the bad users all right so it's 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 stepping through things it's going to actually start with a lot of what you did in 313 so this is applying a lot of stuff this is this is a good good project right here hopefully you started this lab a note right here when the desktop connections uh when we did labs before they were all alpha and beta this time they're going to be gamma and delta now it says create two connections by opening up both of those so and if I was on connections tab, oh, okay. It says open up both, but I'm like, I don't really understand why you have to have both open, but okay, dudes. So gamma and delta, I think you only need to really mess with one of these users. I don't, I haven't figured out the point of having both. Uh, so note here, only authorized users are the are gamma, delta, and system users. So what are the system users? Hopefully you wrote that down in your notes, but I got it too. I wrote down back in like 313, it said, hey, these ones are the legit ones. The only thing not named this and not named gamma or delta is a bad person, All right? So that's where you should start with this project. And if you got in this command, what I would wanna do is I'd wanna look at the list of every process running right now and I would start with that. And like, how do you see every process running? Because then you can see, look at that list of processes running and see who's the bad person. How do you do that? I'm going to my 313 notes and saying, how do I run processes? Well, it's the first thing we did. Go back to those commands, see that. There's different ways you can run that so you can sort the users, but I'll leave that up to you at this point. And that's it, good luck.